The weather forecast for today is nice. Mid 80s, nice breeze. The wave forecast, however, is one to seven foot waves from every single direction. <laughs> What's going on everybody? My name's Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy. It's July 3rd, so uh, you can only imagine what it's like on the lake out here. But uh, I am out with my good friend, Andy Shira. Veteran hey, Guide hey. Service is uh, his operation that he's running. I will put the particulars for that in the description down below. Last year, Andy and I came out here, I think it was July, wasn't it? It was. Yeah, so we came out here last year and I got two beautiful fish. We bumped into probably another six or seven fishing sort of an open water rubber bucktail bite so that's what we're doing again um, we've got really good conditions for this so we are hoping that we can brave all of the pleasure boaters and uh, stick the hooks in a really nice southern wisconsin muskie all right ladies and gentlemen well i'm gonna be throwing a 10 inch poseidon that is uh, as you can see heavily weighted i've got a one and one and a half ounce uh, chaos tackle deep threat weight uh, andy does pretty good on these baits out here he's gonna be throwing uh, some big bucktails that are weighted pretty heavy we are out over some deeper water and counting these things down uh, the rods that we're using are heavier rods i'm throwing a moab from chaos tackle assault stick 2020 with 500 tranks uh, I have pretty much everything we're throwing out here is either moabs or shock and oz so that's what we've got going uh, i'm running some fins 100 pound 40g on this one too i've been throwing fins for a year and it's been really good so that's what everybody's rocking hopefully we can get one of these fish to bite It's me, and of course it was right at the end of a big long cast. Here we go, here we go. Dude, he came screaming up from the bottom and just took off this way. On a waypoint, Brian. Yeah. On one. Yeah. Blue one. Probably, uh, I'm guessing 40 to 44. Yeah, it wasn't huge, but, dude, the, my bucktail's literally coming up like that's this. That's what they do. They yep. come out of nowhere. It's, yep. It's almost like you don't want to watch behind it. You gotta watch I went to make the turn, and she just she kept going, going awesome. out. Go black, white, and turn. Yeah, uh, black, white, something bright. Oh, oh, nice fish, nice fish. Oh, no. <laughs> Almost had him. No, it wasn't that big. Uh, six, 46. I had him hooked there for a second. You almost caught him in the I net after he let go. Bag, oh. You got the video of it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. It was mid 40s. Yeah. 46 all day. Did it eat in the eight? I had him up here on the eight. Pulled it here, he ate. Then he like let go right here when I bounced off the cameras. <laughs> then he oh, just stuck bro. the net down. <laughs> he almost swam right into I the net. I let it. Dude, I almost, she just realized oh. what I was doing at the last second. Yeah. And I almost had that oh, fish. Oh, man. It came up just like yours, though, just right it at just the end. Because I did my first. You know, what I think was encouraging was we got extremely flat conditions. But we were obviously right where we needed to be, and your bait was doing what we needed to because we had that little change in the wind, and a nice one came out. Yep. We're on anchor. You want me up there? Come, come. Faster, faster. Here she comes. 
Pike. Big Pike. Wow. <laughs> 40-inch glass pike, though. First cast. That's a big one. That's awesome. Not the right kind, but we'll take it. That's all right. We'll take it right now. Cool, man. First cast after you get back. <laughs> <laughs> Find it out. Uh, all right, ladies and gents, a little midday update. I uh, switched back and forth between a bucktail and that uh, Poseidon. Had a fish come in super hot right away. I don't know how much you'll be able to see of that. But then uh, Derek had one pinned up on a Poseidon right next to the boat. It was just, she ate weird in the eight. And uh, Andy made a diving try to save it and just barely missed her in the net. So uh, we've had a couple of close calls with muskies. That pike that we had in the net, um, the reason you're not seeing that is it was in sort of rough shape, so we were a little bit more worried about just taking care of that and getting her back in the water and uh, resetting and getting back on the muskie program here. So that's what we're doing. So we've got filtered sun, we've got really bad waves. I know it probably, the camera never shows how bad the waves are, but it is rough going out here. It is tough to stand up on the front of the boat, but we are going to make the best of it and see if we can't get one of these big open water muskies to eat for us. Yep. Nice. Nice. Right in front of the camera and then right away from the camera. Small one, but good work. It's 40 inch class, man. That's beautiful. Thing. Okay, then the other one was a lot bigger. Just kidding. That, that other one was bigger. Yeah, it was bigger. Yeah. That other one had three or four inches on this one. But yeah. this uh, ladies and gentlemen, we've uh, got ourselves a muskie in the net. So, um, not as big, we don't think, as the first one that came up in eight in the figure eight, but uh, this is a nice fish. All these fish out here are just built, and I am super excited to get a look at this thing. Oh, baby. Look at that, mama. All right, let me get over here with you. That's a dandy. Nice one, dude. That, Good job. Look at the build nice thick on her. one. Give her a minute in the wind, you know. We're holding still. The boat's on spot lock. Help her down a little bit. When, once you think she's oxygenated enough. There we go. Just keep an eye on her. She's got herself upright. Best way is just to yeah, have her keep herself upright. We don't want her to get hit. Help her down. Yep. All right, we're gonna go. On the board. Yeah, we are on the board. We're gonna keep an eye on this fish and uh, hopefully that means they are biting. All right, ladies and gents, we caught back up with that fish, made sure it went down. Uh, she's all good to go. And uh, yeah, musky in the net. And we've got the best time coming up here. We've got our low light period coming up. We've got our moon period coming up. So uh, hopefully we can at least see a couple more fish and hopefully get another one in the net. That would be just fantastic. Uh, the boating pressure is still rough out here and that's what makes it hard dealing with these fish is we've got seriously like two to three foot waves and they're not generated by the wind. This is all boat traffic so uh, it makes dealing with these fish a little bit tough so we just took our time, took care of the fish, got her back and now we're going to try to catch another one.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, fishing into the evening that we thought was gonna be amazing after what we saw didn't pan out. But that's what muskies do. <laughs> they give you this false sense of security that, hey, later's gonna be amazing. And then, <laughs> But uh, today was amazing because we put a nice fish in the boat on a tough lake, uh, had another really nice one hooked up, saw a couple, got a nice pike, and you know what? Look at that sunset. I know the camera does not do justice, but it is amazing looking. We have boats everywhere because I'm pretty sure the uh, Independence Day fireworks are probably gonna start pretty soon. So we are thinking about bugging out of here before it turns into a gosh darn mess. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna throw a couple last casts. Uh, if something happens, we'll be back. But for now, this is your outro. I would like you to, if you'd like to catch muskies in Southern Wisconsin or Northern Illinois, Check out Mr. Andy Shearer. Veteran Guide Service is the operation he's running. I will leave everything in the description below to get a hold of Mr. Shearer. And uh, not just muskies, multi-species, correct? That's true. Walleyes and smallies, too. All right, Travis. right on. Coolness. So, with that, I appreciate every single one of you watching this mess, and I'll see you on the next video.